Okay. <laughs> Am I looking at you? Yeah, you can look at me. Um, I may screw up the comment via the video. Pretty. I really love things like this. I love talking. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just wish that there'd be more people open to talking about it. It's just athletes sitting on the sofa. We didn't have a sofa. <laughs> but you know, I think the toughest people are Christians. You know, a lot of times through adversity, you won't break because there's a certain peace that surpasses all understanding if you're truly a Christian. And so whether you're doing great or you're doing bad, you know it's gonna, it's gonna come to an end at some point and um, you'll be able to get to a certain situation. So I think that, you know, uh, if you are a Christian, you're probably gonna be a better competitor anyway. You start your little seed and then, you know, God's showering you with these gifts and these opportunities to then spread that to other people so then they're gonna spread it to other people and eventually we're gonna end up with just a beautiful endless vineyard of people sharing all these amazing things. So I love that, you know, being an athlete is not just the sports aspect of it all. It is the community that you're getting. It is the opportunities that you're getting to reach out to other people. Um, and therefore remember, you're not just here because you can run fast. You're here because you are having a chance to be in somebody else's life. Does a Christian mean that it's some of the most gracious competitors in the world uh, and throughout history? That uh, it means that you can compete at the highest level but that you can still honor God in the way that you do it by the way that you treat others and the respect that you show to other people. And, um, and ultimately that we can remember that um, it's not just about serving the scoreboard or serving our head coach or serving the fans, but obviously serving an audience of one and, and, and serving our Lord. Well, I'm starting to see it a lot more as it's my third year, but I'm starting to see how many people actually look up to me and like wow she's a little track team and she's playing D1 sport and all that so I feel like that's a lot of responsibility that I got to take on and be a good example but I feel that by having you know the faith in God that he will have me be a good example it's like it'll just show through me. I was from San Diego and coming to a new location I really didn't know what the um, faith community was going to be like so as soon as I got here that was one of the first things I wanted to do was figure out a church, figure out a community group, and being an athlete, you know, I really didn't know what the, that was going to look like, and I found that there was a couple different uh, communities, uh, there was FCA, there was Athletes in Action, and then there were a couple different things with my church, but thankful that I was able to find one of those and be able to get plugged in um, early on, and I think that's something that is really important and valuable, especially in a, a college athlete, to be able to find their foundation and find um, where they belong and just have that a source of accountability that can really keep you focused and going straight and have a compass heading. Um, like a sailboat, you know, it has a keel and that, that keeps the boat stable in the storms. Um, and you know, in this life we're going to have our trials and tribulations, um, but we got to be set and we got to know uh, where we're going to look to for strength in those dark times. And um, here in Charleston, it's really uh, been a blessing to be able to find that community, uh, find that hospitality, and then find that accountability. I'm always like really hard on myself, but FCA actually has helped me to, to remind me that I'm not just doing this for myself or just for my team, I'm doing it for Christ. So that lets me relieve any stress that I have and then I don't really have any pressure. So anything that I do, whether it's a win or a loss, it's for him because he gave me the talent to be able to do it. I used to find my identity in my sport. I used to find it in my academics and it's kind of come to this semester of college actually where I've started to realize that like, I'm not what I do and I'm not how I perform. I'm, I'm a child of God and that's, it's the greatest feeling to know that it doesn't matter what this life holds because my life is up with Him. I just feel like I've been blessed to find a community in the city of Charleston. Um, I love CFC, I love the school, I love my teammates and my coaches and you know, our team pastor. And I just encourage people to you know, get out and get involved, whether that be AIA or FCA or you know, any organization that really touches your heart and I think um, can make you not only a better person, but can really help your athletics too. Perfect. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. No worries. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.